What's up guys? So I wanna talk about something that I think is kind of shoved under the rug, especially in today's society. And that one thing is loneliness. Um, you don't have to be depressed, you don't have to be having some kind of condition, but I think that everybody who sets out on some kind of aim in life and has a desire especially those who are also business owners, somebody who's out that's a little bit not in the norm, that's not the status quo nine to five, even if you are the nine to five. So I think loneliness is something that everybody struggles with or has struggled with. And it needs to be talked about because it sh you shouldn't feel bad about it. And here's the one thing that you need to recognize with this feeling. Um, it's a feeling of lack, right? You're feeling that you don't have enough of something in your life, whether that be friends, a relationship, certain experiences. This can go through all parts of our life. And when we're, for myself, for instance, I, I have a, a business and I have a goal and I'm working towards that every day. And sometimes it can feel a little bit, at the end of the day, a little lonely, but you shouldn't look at it that way. When you're feeling a sense of lack, it really means you want something from the external to fuel the internal, whether that be an experience. And people start to question what they're doing. Is this the right thing? So don't ever doubt yourself because you're feeling down and quote, don't, don't ever try to redirect your mission because of an emotion, because it's all just because of the thoughts that you're having. I think emo you're, how can I say your feeling of loneliness is you're trying to feel something inside when you should never look for something external to make you feel whole inside. Feeling joyful in the best state alone. I feel great in bliss when I close my eyes. I feel amazing in a great state when my eyes are open with somebody, without somebody. It's when you're living in a state of presentness, when you're present. Whenever you're focused on the future, you're living in anxiety. When you're living in the past, you're living in lack. And a lot of times, our society, our consumerist society, makes us feel that we don't have enough. That, especially in the Western culture, that more is always gonna be better. Why is it that we're constantly chasing things outside of us to feel good? Happiness doesn't come from anything external. Those moments of joy are to be appreciated, but joy and happiness always come from within. The life you want is attracted and manifested into your life when your internal state is correct. When you can be whole, happy, and, ha and joyful in any situation, because that's what joy is. The ability to be present in the moment and to appreciate it. So I wanted you to maybe take a real look in your life and look at the things that you've accomplished because we're always focused on the goal and us not being at that goal yet. It can feel like we're not gonna get there. That's not what it's about, guys. Look back, look at what you've gained because where you are exactly right now is the exact place that you dreamed of five years ago. You have to take inventory of the wins because if you never take inventory of the wins, you'll never feel like you're winning. You're always gonna feel like you're chasing something. But we all know once we get there, there's gonna be another thing. There's always gonna be more. John D. Rockefeller on his deathbed, they asked him, how much money, how much more money would it take to make you happy? And he said, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Everything that we do is just a little bit more. So be grateful and be happy 
and be in a state of presentness. So you can be happy in the moment without having to need something external to fill the hole. Because that's what society does. I need a relationship. Why is it looked upon eating at restaurants alone weird? Why is I see this on Instagram, going to the movies alone. Like it's something that's not normal. I think it's not normal, the ability to be with yourself. You're constantly distracting yourself and seeking pleasures because you're escaping something in the inside. The more you escape it, the bigger it's going to grow. You need to address the things and become self-aware of the feelings that you're feeling. The emotions that you have are great. They're indicators. You have an emotional guidance system. If you're feeling something, ask yourself why. Where is this coming from? So you know how to redirect your life, right? Emotions are not bad, nor good. They are what they are. And that's everything in your life. It's not bad that you don't have a relationship right now, and it's not good. It is the meaning that you give it. So every moment in every situation, it's always for your greatest good. If you have that belief, what can go wrong? So I encourage you guys to every day make a small practice of waking up and just acknowledging the things in your life that make you feel good. Because when we talk about, oh, I'm grateful, it has a connotation to it. We start thinking about things that don't make us feel good. So start thinking about your family memories because being grateful doesn't have to be a thing. It could be a memory. It could be a future event that you're anticipating. It can be just the ability to wake up. It can be how warm your bed is. Just you wanna get on a rampage of gratitude every day. That way you could start your day in abundance versus lack.